to the swear corner. I got this jar, and this is like questions that I got from my friends, colleagues, and stuff like that that I needed to answer for this channel. It's almost like a get to know me tag in a sense. It's really hot here. If you can hear the fan, ignore the fan or the wind. I need as much oh, fresh air as possibly can. So I'm opening the questions for the first time. I haven't seen any of these questions. I've just kept them. So one of the questions that I got is are you guys are you into guys or ladies wow of all the first questions to ask guys no ladies that's an easy one and then the other one is why do you vlog and how long have you been doing it for i'm going to answer this in a sense of like a youtube channel um i create content because it's one dream i've had for one of the longest times i just Never had the courage to do it and then when i finally did i started the channel and how long have i been doing it it's been on and off for two years i've never gone a whole year straight i think i did like three six months in the first year stopped did another three months here stopped but if you cut out all the times that i've not been consistent let's say a full year in a sense yep will you be doing vlog math i don't know <laughs> Vlogmas is a lot of work. Vlogmas is so much work and I don't know if I am in the mood to actually do vlogmas. It is so much work. It is really a lot of work. It's like vlogging every day. You have to have content for every day. It's already November, at the end of November. I haven't prepped enough to do vlogmas. I'm, I want to try and do it. We'll see how long I keep on doing it. Because I've tried to do it in 2019 and 2020. But no yeah but life happens and then i'm unable to um but we'll see we'll see i need the content of a lifetime though for all of that if you were not human what would you like to be and why i would try to be an eagle eagle or horse like the african fish eagle that one that haunts something about the po its powerfulness and yet its grace in its wings and how it haunts um it's prey from the distance that it does and then goes for it and dives through and also how when the wind goes to maintain its rhythm or something like that it literally goes in the direction of where the wind is so that it at that m moment it lets the wind takes it where it needs to go without using so much um of its force an eagle and then a horse also because of its grace because number one it's named after one of my favorite cars it's like a mustangs my favorite cars in the world and also it's it also gives you a it, it gives you a power and a humbleness that you just don't understand it has the power to literally trample you and yet it lets people ride on it at its back it it can be trained but yet there's some such strength in just what it represents when it stands there oh i like that question should i get you a man's <laughs> you can try <laughs> can i get you a mint you can try <laughs> um the other one is oh that's funny do you think robbing people is a hassle it's just mean i'm sorry it's just mean because people have worked hard for what they have they have hustled to get to what they have that robbing people is not a great hustle there is no honor in thieves says the bible and i think does the bible say there's no honor in thieves in general there's no honor in thieves have you ever seen a thief actually prosper and then be be at rest in their life no you keep chasing your tail because you're afraid someone will find you you keep doing it more and more because you don't have enough become more greedy no it's not a hustle it sucks actually number of your tattoos and piercings <gasps> um tattoos one two three four five six seven eight i have eight tattoos and piercings is one two three no one two three four five 
six, seven, seven piercings. Um, out of all your siblings, who is likely to get married first? <laughs> my older brother was actually the one who actually got married first, um, followed by the other one, and then the last one also got married. So, yeah. <laughs> Can I get you a man? Um, the other one is aside from basic needs, what is one thing you cannot go a day without? My baby, my cub. I can't go without him. No. He's the yeah. And yeah, no, my son. I, I'm yeah done. If your surname was a drink, what would it be? <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Jen. I love these questions. Um. This one says, How many kids do you have? Nia, I only have one. He's three. Love of my life. What do you look for in the person you are dating? Respect, honesty, consistency, and God. Um, if you were a guy, would you date a girl with big feet or deep voice? <laughs> big feet or a deep voice i would take a deep voice like i don't care like really I, I don't care the deep voice part i don't know about the big feet i don't know big how is it like one size bigger than mine is it two size bigger than mine big how exactly i don't know but deep voice immediately because i can think of one of my favorite people in the world she's she has a deep voice and she's yeah anyway what was your first job my first job was babysitting um when i was in high school I used to babysit on weekends and holidays for the like people in my street um, at the time. That was my first job. Yeah. What is the one thing you would never do again? Get drunk so much, I don't know where I am. And throw up like no one's business. I, would, I don't ever want that feeling again. No. No. Um, are you seeing anyone? No, currently I'm single. Um, what inspired you to start your YouTube? It is watching other people also do their YouTube. I know I used to love YouTube, watching YouTube for the longest time. I think I said that already, and I really wanted to do it for the longest time. I just didn't know how, whether I actually had the courage or the means, or you have to have a a, a sense of um, I don't care ness to actually start a YouTube channel because of how much people judge you don't understand what it means to start a youtube channel um i think nowadays it's go a little bit better because people are getting into like seeing other people vlog and following youtubers and stuff like that but back in the day when i really wanted one i didn't know exactly what it meant but yeah over the years my friends god and my sister love her they like inspired yes they pushed me to get into what i really like to do and that's creating content do you enjoy foreplay? Who doesn't? You have to start an engine properly. You cannot just zoom. I mean, even a car that has been sitting there for a while, you must start and let it like get ready. You know what I mean? Who doesn't? Out of your siblings, who would who would help you kill someone? <laughs> I would think my sister would help me kill someone. <laughs> she's my ride or die my sister is my ride or die it i don't think she'll allow me to, i don't i think she will help me kill someone i think she will help me kill someone i think it's my sister maybe my older brother my older brother one just after her just before her i mean maybe he might also because he's very protective of us but i think her more because she's the only one I would be like brave enough to say, oh my gosh, I killed someone. If you could go back in time, what would you travel? What year would you travel to? I could go back in time. I would want to travel to the year that started my childhood trauma or my depression. Um, I would want to pinpoint exactly how my depression started. Because for some weird reason, I just, with therapy and everything, I can't seem to pinpoint this the time when it actually like that was the point where it started 
I don't know what year it is, but I would like to pick, go back to that specific so I can go back and be like, that was the how depression started or my trauma of my childhood started did that pinpoint i don't know if it's because maybe trauma that also made me forget that but that's the part i would want to go back to yeah that's the year otherwise i think the other year will probably be every year the year my younger brother died my mom and my dad just so i can say goodbye properly i think that maybe What's my favorite drink? Gin and dry lemon. And then followed by wine. Gin, gin. Oh! Gin. Any sort of gin and dry lemon. Um, have you ever smoked weed before? If yes, how many times? No, I haven't never smoked weed before. But I've had a brownie. Mm, once. Twice, I think. Twice. Which is your favorite movie? Who my favorite movie is? Is Air Force One and The Walk to Remember? Those two. What camera camera do you use for vlogging? Um, for vlogging, I used to, and for every video, I used to J7X. Um, that's the camera I I use. Do you have a mens? If not, why? I don't have a mens. If not, why? I haven't met anyone. I was really like, I feel like it was worth dating in the, at this point in time. Um, favorite African beauty or lifestyle entertainment vloggers? Favorite beauty is um, Jackie Aina. She was the one YouTuber that literally made me want to love YouTube back in the day when she was like a military, she was still in the, the military. And then African, it is Christina Ngama and. Um, I forgot her name the girl with like the 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 raspy voice oh my gosh i'm going to put it here i'm going to put her name here totally forgot now that i'm answering questions who she is i forgot her but she's a beautiful raspy voice she's who i love she's an african and christina gama who's the african and then of course a nigerian girl dima also dima also one of my favorite ones otherwise yeah those four are my favorite youtubers in namibia my favorite youtubers would be woven the 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 travel one and then this other lady she has only very few subscribers rowan um vlogs she also like her a lot a lot i don't know why i enjoy her vlogs it's so cool she's just so cute i like her who is your biggest inspiration it will be my sister how she goes after what she wants love or money love we can make the money together and i've lived without so what is the story behind your cheat truth i was eating meat and then a bone and then oops it, i chipped my own tooth that's basically the only reason nothing else what do you do for a living? I'm an events coordinator for trade shows. Where do you live right now? I live in Ventuk right now. Um, Namibia. Uh, yeah, that's where I live. What is the craziest thing I've done in the name of love? Craziest thing I've done in the name of love. Craziest thing I've done in the name of love. Craziest thing I've done in the name of love. One hour later. Craziest thing I've done in the name of love. Hmm, I don't know. What do you want for your birthday? My birthday? I spent time with. I want to spend time with my friends. I just did that. I think by this time you you will watch my um, birthday vlog, and also this trip. Also one of those things that I wanted to do with my friends, and I did that. Out of 1 to 10, how rude are you? It depends on who you are and how you ex accept the answer I give you. Yeah. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is White Chocolate Moments by someone I forgot. It's, uh, I'll put the, the, the author here. I forgot her name. And also um, Enchantment in, Ven in Venus. That's like... Um, Milton Bones bookie that I've read like millions of years ago. 
um, but I can never seem to forget that book. I remember last year, no, this year, I actually went back to go look for that book. It was not even in printed anything, but I found it in some random archive, whatever, and ha I managed to read the book online again. Me, I just love you. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> I love you too. Oh, thank you. So sweet to be loved. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, um, it's a lot of questions. Clearly, um, who drinks the most out of your siblings? Probably me and me, my brother. But it depends on who the most is. What the most is? Mo most doesn't like. Yeah, probably me and my brother or my sister. Of the way that we drink, we don't drink the most. But it's like every day you wanna have a drink, or every second day with your meal you wanna have a glass of wine. So me, my brother, my sister probably tied together. I thought in, in the yeah like that. What's your shoe size? Oh, I wear five. Describe yourself. I don't really know how to describe myself. I don't know how to describe myself. I don't know how to describe myself. I must think about that for a moment. How much do you weigh? I think probably at this point I'm at like 80 kg. I haven't worked out in a while. Favorite holiday destination? Favorite holiday destination would be anywhere I could be with my siblings. I was late. I really want to have like a white Christmas. I answered all the questions. Um, as for describing myself, I'm going to think about it. Properly think about it. Introspectively. Thank you guys so much for those who decided to just submit all the questions to my friends and colleagues. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're wondering where I am, um, this video is still filmed in my room at the Sources Flare. I think I probably mentioned that in my introduction. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. 60% of you, for you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel. It's just down here in your right hand corner. It says subscribe in red. Just press that button and also the um, notification bell so you're notified of all the videos that I upload and also don't forget to leave a comment below is there a question that you wanted me to answer that it's not here ask your questions below I might just do another one of this while I'm doing my makeup and yeah you can then ask ask, ask, whew, ask your question and I will try and answer them I'll see you guys later I'll see you guys in my next video